Alright boys and girls, welcome to the void. This is Foot of Dust Gaming and today I have a video featuring me playing Liliana, the foxy lady. And it was a skyrocket start. And it fell off after that time. But I think the build is solid. Um, there's actually some pretty nice gameplay in the video. And of course you guys are just here for getting the build and stuff like that. And that's what we are going to do at the beginning of the video. So, yeah, I played it a couple of days ago, so I don't really remember every single bit of it. But I think it will be sufficient enough to just dive into the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, just subscribe right now. And if you like the video, leave a like. And if you have something to say, just use the comment section in the field below this video. So, yeah, let's just... Hop right into the build, guys. Welcome to the build section, and here we have a pretty standard, decent Liliana build. It's um, nothing that will surprise you, but I think the composition is actually quite good. So you've got some damage items, namely the mage of uh, the orb of the magi. You have the boomstick. You've got. Hecate's, which is quite good because it boosts the overall damage, but we do have a little bit of sustain as well because you're gonna poke a lot. And uh, one key item is Rhea's Blessing. As soon as you have that item, you can basically use jungle and minions to get back to full health. Like in like no time, in an instance, if you are in Fox form. And we have Gaia Standard as the last item, which comes in quite handy if you're facing, for example, powerful mages such as Darcy and the like. He might just boost you down anyways, but um, as you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with other mages, it's just something that adds up quite nicely. But of course, the slot on the sixth position is always kind of debatable because that's the stuff that you will have late game. So you can use Blade of the Eternity, for example, as well. Just as an idea. Um, mm, 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 mm. Arcana wise, we are going in with 10 times Violate. We are having 10 times Devour and we will have 10 times Hex, mainly for the cooldown speed. Another uh, Arcana rune which works quite well is the Flurry. It's up to you guys. I'm more a Hex person. You, you can see it, I'm a Hex person. You might just not be a Hex person, and then you shouldn't take Hex, of course. Here we are doing full damage, nothing to go into any kind of protection layers. We're not having that stupid sacred protection. We are going with a short mana refill, which is actually quite nice because you are spamming your abilities a lot. You're like a spamming machine. You're spamming here, spamming there, spamming here, spamming there. You're spamming all over the place. Then we are having more ability power from the equipment, which just increases the overall aspect of nuking things to death. You're a poke and a nuke champion. And then we are having the holy thunder. As I said, we're going full damage. And you can see that here as well. We've got the devourer. devourer, And we have the deadly claw as well. So this is most damage. Um, you can go with the Axe of Sacrifice, but we are having the mana. The mana thing is more important, so it's not full, full damage, but at least four out of five enchantments are damage enchantments. Let's take a look on how this actually looks like in-game. This is one of the few games where you see me play Liliana. It's not one of the champions that I play a lot and you might be surprised because I somehow, I don't know how it happened, somehow Liliana lost her voice in the video. Like I don't know what happened but from one second to the other her voice was just gone and this is, this is the crazy race. Like we are having AP Valheim, we've got the old Astrid, this video is, is so old that this is gonna be the old Astrid so no no new shenanigans and this is gonna be crazy like the combination on the dual lane with 
the Rioma and Liliana is crazy. Like that should be meta, like guys for sure. That should be meta. That's like the the meta aspect. I don't know why I have picked my one. Shame on that. Um I should have taken the one first and then I should have gone with the second ability just to snare enemies. Um don't know what she does there, but I can tell that I do decent damage. And uh, I do roam a lot. It was more of a fun game, to be fair. So, nothing to write home about at this place. But here we go. Bam, first blood. And here comes the voice. Like, what is that? What? Where, did, where does it come from? I get hooked here, but... Uh, dude, seriously? Like, what are, what are you supposed to do? Like, what do you want me to be do be the boop be boop be bada boop be be the boop up there's nothing he can do like he just hooked me but completely in the middle of nowhere me standing around is just like not gonna help you grok don't take it don't take it too seriously and then again he hooks me okay that crazy bastard is defeated I need to flicker out because that's just what we do. And I missed that shot and it was really, really stupid. And I don't know why I'm, I just go for the second ability again. I think, if I remember correctly, I think that I thought it might be a good idea. Well, that's crazy. I think that I thought. So... I don't know at all. Um, I think that I thought it might just be a really nice idea to snare the enemy with my ability and then Rioma can finish it. I think that was the reason, but I don't... We are just so stupid. I don't know why I think it was a good idea to just invest even more points in this ability instead of getting the ability that actually causes damage. Look at that, perfect execution. The orb is flying. And... <laughs> that was like the best combo in the world. That was like the first time I actually pulled that off. I don't even know what I did there. I can't... I've seen it and it looks like magic. Looks like I'm, I'm another player. Maybe I'm Manuel Neuer. You never know. Maybe this is Manuel Neuer. And now you've got the sound from that dragon. That's so crazy. I don't know what happened to the game. Well, if, if the audio just broke up. Oh, don't know. If we've got no we've got no animations. There's nothing there. Six hundred and sixty damage. I mean that's okay ish, I guess. Now we do get some cooldown reduction. It's always nice to have some cooldown reduction. I'm I'm really a cooldown reduction person. I think you can like when I was when I was younger, we had this d debate like are you are you more a Nokia person or not? She should have died here. For sure. I was and here we got Rioma kills things, and then Rioma is killed. I mean, that's the circle of life. That's the tragedy of living and dying. <laughs> Guys, why am I playing Liliana without that crazy Codex skin? That I just got for no reason. No treason. And I'm like, okay, dude, look, like, what you, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I mean, what's crazy about her is, like, the dash potential. As soon as you get your flicker on, f like, away from the cooldown, you are just killing things. What a nice kill secure. My kill would not have been able to secure that, so I had to do it. Yes, yes, yes. It's really, it's really frustrating if you are the pro in the video. So I don't really know how that feels. Just so no. Again, 
the, the, the sound came on when the dragon was respawning. I don't know what happened. I do have sound nowadays. I don't know why I did not transform into fox and just kill that freaking thing. And now that crazy old man comes in here. Is he like... He's like a demon, isn't he? He's not a vampire or something. I don't know what I'm doing there. Like, do, do you really think that you can fight against a Volkav? Look at that. And now he's turning into this random killing machine. And I'm like, dude, let me handle this. And he's like, yeah, well, I handled it, you idiot. Hmm. Nothing Ryoma can do against this, or with this. <sighs> I hate it. Like, it's so painful if you see that someone is kind of getting away with no health bar at all. There's nothing more frustrating than that. I mean, yes, the game went all right. I went in 4-1 with one kill being stolen pretty, pretty, pretty much. And now we are facing a 4-2. Still not too bad for my gaming purposes. And then I thought that she would be dead, but she wasn't. And Ryoma just got the score for it. These kill stealers all the time. It's a pity. It's a pity, guys. It's really a pity. Oh, besides, if you want to, if you want to join the club, if you want to join the team, if you want to join the rooster, whatever you want to call it, there is a Discord link located in the description, attached to this very video. On my way to gank. <laughs> what the fuck? If you want to join the squad, get Discord, type in, or like just copy the link, and yeah. Settle it. We are a bunch of players from Germany, Austria. I think there's no one from Switzerland. So if you are good with German, you are really highly welcome. And if you are not that confident about your German, we have multilingual channels as well. Most preferred English. And uh, if you... If you enjoy some games with not pro player people, you can actually just come in and have some fun. So it's my offer. And it's for free, guys. You don't have to pay something. You don't have to spend the money you don't have on some kind of subscription shit. You just type in the link and there you go. How about that? Does that feel all right? Does that actually make sense? I think so. I think it's a great deal. Great bargain. If you don't have a present for your sister, or your father, or your mother, just send them that link. It's awesome. It's like the best present they will ever get. Joining Void of Dust game Discord channel. Pretty ace. I suppose pretty ace. Is there a reason why she's having like, like blue claws and paws? Is that does, does that make sense? Like, is there a reason behind that? Is there anything in the lore? She like is she a smurf or something? Doesn't really make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. And now here we go again, fighting against four people. Is that a good idea? I don't think so. And here we are hooked. And now we're dead. Wow. That was completely unexpected. I was thinking that I could just get all of those. Sometimes I just wonder when I'm what when I'm kind of like when I'm watching my videos after I have recorded them and I've played the game and I've been there. Like literally I've been there. I just wonder what is wrong with me. I think my colleagues at work do as well. I 
think I'm not sober. Mother, sister, did it. I love, I love how they, when they when they just randomly when they randomly swear at each other, it's just like, oh my god, this doesn't make any sense. Like, what are you talking about, guys? I really wanted to show her the power of my Biju Tailed Beast Bomb Mode, and it worked. And now Ryoma has another kill. Like, basically, how many kills have, have is Ryoma like stealing? Has Ryoma stolen? Two, three, four, five, six. Plenty. A plenty. Plenty much. Whatever, doesn't make sense, but... <laughs> and now the Dark Slayer is like... No, the Dark Slayer is dead, and we get that little audio sound as well. It's just so awful. My audio is just gone. So is there anything to learn from this video? I mean, I mean that one combo was really great, I, I suppose. The rest... I mean, I've demonstrated in quite a really descriptive way how fast you are killed when you try to fight four people. It's like education, education purposes. I don't like that. I don't like if you kind of blame the enemy or you make fun of them after you won the game. Like, could, could just turn around the next time, so I don't really appreciate it too much. Um... It's just something that I would not consider doing. I don't know why, but at this point we decided not to finish. I don't know, I don't know what was going on in people's minds. Okay, I see. There's a there's a strategy behind this. Every single time one of the bigger monsters is killed, we do get some sound. And my buff obtained. That was on purpose. That wasn't on purpose. I was just pressing to the, the buttons too fast and then it just happened. And we do get him. See, that's the old Astrid. I don't get killed. Like, I'm just... For my team, I'm just a joke. I'm just a joke to them. No, they don't really care about me. Because I'm a fox. I'm just an object. That's what foxes are. So, that's, it's so crazy. It's like, I don't have anything in life. And now the minions, minions have finished the game, which is actually alright. Actually alright, the game was alright, the kids are alright, everything is alright. I don't know what to say right now. Let's just have a look at this. There you go. Rook is our MVP. And here's the rest. It's all season. Everyone gets a thumbs up. And guys, here we go. 7.9. Worst player. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.